It's one of the craziest things I've heard of and I'm pretty sure it's one of the craziest things I may end up doing as well one day because uh, I think what we need to also focus on is like we need to see more female runners in the field who do crazy stuff like this because they may call us crazy but in the end of the day we are not crazy, it's just, it's just amazing. Right now we are in Croatia and we're going to be starting the Istria 100. I think taking away from race one, I came out a lot more resilient and I really understood how much pain I can actually take in and push past that. Obviously it's not how I wanted it on race one, but I'm feeling good with race two and I'm just stoked going into it. I think that it was a test of what I'm truly capable of doing and it's okay that I didn't succeed the first time because it's about picking yourself up, learning, growing and moving to the next one. And that's the theme of this year. I actually went into this race feeling really strong and confident and I didn't have any nerves going into it even with the injury. I was just in a different place and a different mood and I was just enjoying the scenery and the music and the people and I was just excited to start. I was running with uh, a girl that I met and we were having fun, we were laughing and then it started to get a bit cold and I think that was a little bit unexpected so when we reached the summit the headwinds were just insane and the snow, I mean it was just completely unexpected to be that temperature. Made it through the first night, approaching the first checkpoint, which is Buzet, at uh, 88 kilometers. <sighs> Halfway there. It was actually nice having somebody just to run beside, and we really didn't even talk half the time. We were just having that presence beside you, and if you wanted to talk to somebody, you could, and you're not, you know, talking to the trees or yourself, which was nice. After the 90K, then I hit my knee, um, and then the injury happened again, so I'm like, oh darn. Why, why is it the same knee, the same exact problem? Doing the power hiking and everything, um, I ended up getting so cold that I had a little bit of hypothermia, which I had to stay in the medic tent for about five hours just to warm up. For the rest of the race, it was just step by step, mile by mile. And, you know, at that point, I think my body and mind had completely just failed me and it was pretty much my heart that carried me through the end. <laughs> 